Well, it's been leaking. It's been estimated at 42,000 gallons a day. That's uh, 1,000 barrels of oil uh, leaking out of the pipe. Uh, it didn't start immediately, so it's probably been about uh, maybe three days now, so you're looking at 3,000 barrels of oil. Well, it's not moving toward the coast at all at this point. We've got a pretty strong northwest wind blowing, and that's blowing it away from Louisiana and Mississippi, Alabama, Florida. It's expected to change. The weather will turn sometime later this week, and we expect some southerly conditions. And at that point, I think it will probably, whatever's there will begin moving. The, the issue here revolves around how much oil ultimately escapes. Well, the sea life out there is probably not uh, it, that big a deal, frankly. I think what's going to happen is that if, if we have a, a significant amount of, of floating oil, as the surface of the uh, coast, the water surface currents move from the east to the west. So I think when it does begin moving north, there's going to be a westerly tendency, and I think probably the larger target right now is Chandelier Sound off of the uh, eastern Louisiana and western Mississippi coast. And I think that, that, that is the sensitive area because those areas, uh, that estuarine situation is no longer protected by the Chandelier Island since Katrina. Uh, so the, there's no barrier to speak of, so whatever oil gets out there and, and goes through is going to be into the uh, marshes and the, the nesting areas of that, that particular system. Well, we don't have much experience because we've never had anything this big along the Gulf Coast. If it gets into the marsh, it becomes a matter of, apply, of applying bacteria that it will decompose the residue itself. And that, I really, I, I'm not sure. I think we're talking about weeks and months, though, to get it completely dispersed and destroyed. Well, it, drifting this way is a chance, and certainly if, they, if they're not able to cap this within the next uh, several days, uh, the magnitude is going to become fairly serious. Uh, what was actually protecting the beaches is the longshore current that carries sand and everything else from the east toward the west. But if the material moves through the passes into the oyster reefs of Mississippi Sound, uh, there really isn't any way to clean it up. It'll just have to, to decay over time. Well, the, oysters, the oyster industry was, is likely to be seriously damaged if it gets into those reefs. I think even with what we have now, there's likely to be a, some concern for the shrimp industry, not necessarily because shrimp have been destroyed, but because the trawling activities out there will, will begin to capture an awful lot of the asphalt and tarry material that's left from the oil spill. So, no, if the problem does not worsen beyond what we're looking at right now, I really don't anticipate much impact on the beaches. Now, if it continues to leak oil for weeks, or months, then I think we have a very serious issue. But the beaches are going to be easier to clean than the marshes.